Those Buffs fans, though, they really showed up by the thousands over to Folsom Field to watch that showdown. There were over 54,000 people who showed up in total. And as Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us, those spirits remained high despite that loss. From adorable furry fans. This is Sko. She's 10 week old German Shore Pointer, named after her favorite team. To fans with specialized t shirts. You ordered these shirts. Oh, yes. We did, we did. Oh, yes. And you happen to love someone named Sanders. We oh, do. Exactly. We do. So which Sanders do you love? I love Shador, <laughs> Dion, <laughs> Shalomi, all of them. We love them all. That early morning wake up call for a 10 a.m. kickoff didn't stop the thousands that attended the CU versus USC game. Hey. 9 a.m. predictions were bold. What are your predictions for this game? I think the Buffaloes win by a billion. Four touchdowns from Shador. Whether it was wishful thinking or premonition, Shador Sanders scored exactly four. But even at the half, when victory wasn't quite in sight, CU Buffs fans still love their buffs. I'm all the way from Georgia. Oh, okay. I think it's good. It's it's young. I think next year he's definitely gonna be better. So you're hopeful? Oh, no, nah, definitely. As the old saying goes, hope floats. And when CU came within one touchdown of tying the game, the time ran out. Hope continued to flow throughout Folsom Field. There's always next week. We love our buffs. We've been coming forever. 25 years, we've been to almost every single game here. The energy is awesome! we come a long way to support Neon Dion as he's doing well, promote his organization, his program, and get himself and his team on the map. Reporting in Boulder, Michael Smith, Denver 7. And the Buffs' next chance for redemption, that comes next Saturday. CU's actually going to travel over to Tempe. They're going to be taking on my alma mater, uh, Arizona State University, Sun Devils there. The Buffs are favored to win that game.